Hello, fancy peoples. I am Jordan Gibby, and today for you, I bring it you games aplenty. A great many, ten of them! These are my favorites, a top ten of the games that I own. First up on our top tens list is the Far Cry series, the first installment of which was released on home consoles shortly after the release of the Xbox 360. Far Cry 2 and 3 had the amazing ability to immerse the player in a hostile environment, fighting to survive on whatever resources they can find, crafting items and weapons to keep them alive. A fourth game is set to be released in the near future, so keep an eye out for it. I apologize for the Spartan accommodations, but you have been a naughty little haven't you? Number 9, the Gran Turismo series. Number 9 in this series is my favorite of all time. Gran Turismo remains one of the most polished and realistic racing games I've ever played. The series has been going strong since the release of the first in the late 90s, after which it took off as one of the most popular racing games, with pseudo copycats eventually emerging as the Forza Motorsport series. Number 8, L.A. Noir. The game feels like the classic detective films of the 30s and 40s, and plays in much the same way. You play as Cole Phelps, a veteran of World War II turned detective, trying to make his way in the city of Los Angeles. The game was released to much hype in 2010 by Rockstar Games, now certainly a rock star in the gaming community. Elder Scrolls series is up as our number 7. The Elder Scrolls series got its start on PC in 1994. The game series is 20 years old as of this year, and is one of the most anticipated and followed game series to this day with huge hype and fan base over the fifth installment, Skyrim. Number 6 on the list is the Halo franchise. Halo is a masterpiece of a series by some people's standards, and fortunately, I got into it a bit late for the full effect. The third installment still sticks with me to this day, though, and is one of the more epic games I've played with a hugely detailed story, some of it told through in-game action rather than words. Number five is a singular entry on our list, Prey, made back in 2006 by the guys and girls at 3D Realms, 2K, and Human Head Studios. The game presents itself from the perspective of Cherokee native Tommy, a man wanting to run away from his native heritage and the reservation with the woman he loves. Before he can finally get through to his love, Jen, the alien abductions begin. Number four, the Silent Hill series. Silent Hill got its start in the late 90s in the heyday of the PlayStation 1 generation, and is continuing to go strong to this day with another release already announced for the future, said to go back to its Japanese horror roots. I've already seen and played the playable demo, and let me tell you guys, stuff's scary. Number three, the Bioshock series. The series begins under the sea in a failed underwater utopia. This continues along until the third entry in the series where a utopian society flies above the highest clouds. Each playthrough of these games only seems to get better each time. Number two on our list is the Sly Cooper series. The games have existed since the PlayStation 2 generation and have maintained their quality and have only gotten better with newer installments as the series continues. Game of the last, or rather series of the last, the Half-Life series comes in at number one. This series is my favorite of all time. It has perfect storytelling, features spot-on game elements that are easy to learn throughout the games and installments, and the graphics are a right pretty sight considering the time that they were made. And I'm Jordan Gibby, and thank you guys for watching. This has been the Top 10 Video Games of All Time. See you next time!